Hey guys, we got two on for today. We're gonna go up to North Raleigh and then we're heading back down to Andrew where we've got one pretty close to the house. I'm uh, gonna be swinging by one of our clients' houses. Uh, they gave me a call and said, hey, I've got this big old ladder here. If you are in need, uh, you can definitely take it. They said a contractor came, uh, never finished the job, never would answer their phone. It's been sitting on the side of their house for a year and a half and they just wanna get rid of it. They said they know that I do gutter cleaning as well as the uh, house washing I did for them. So I went ahead and said, yeah, uh, next time I'm up in the area and we're going to be in the area today. So I don't have my 24 on top and we're going to pick whatever ladder they have on the side of their house and uh, take that. All right, well, come along with me. We're going to wash the house and uh, go get that ladder. All right, doing a quick walk around on this one. There is pretty much shade on every side of the house. So we have a good bit of algae and growth even on the sunnier side. I have done an oxidation test with the client uh, and it is showing a severe oxidation on this one. So that's already been disclosed and discussed. So now that that's out of the way, I've gone ahead and done my property protection, taped up the door locks. I verified that all of the outlets are closed. There's a significant amount of build up and a pretty decent peak up here uh, luckily we're not really windy so I don't think I'm gonna have to bring the ladder out to get there but uh, we will see I'm pretty sure the, the M5 will be able to reach that no issue right over here is the north side of the house with a pretty significant build up it's definitely been several years you can see the snail marks that have come on through here Um, this area right up here is probably going to be my most troublesome spot and if needed I can break out the 16 foot little giant. I did not bring a taller ladder with me today just because we're picking up the one that someone else has given us. So, Alright, let me get this thing started. Alright, so we are doing the same two and two as I normally would do, but this one is a little bit unusual, so I'm going to do about one and a half, one and a half, and one. And that is one and a half sides, then another one and a half sides, and then I'm just going to come around and do the front. Uh, with a lot of vegetation and a couple of hard to get to spots, I want to make sure that I'm dwelling what needs to be... Uh, Given a little bit of time, but also making sure that what's in the sunshine is not flash drying. Uh, they had a significant amount of algae buildup on the southern side of the home, which is already oxidized. Uh, the algae buildup is behind a tree, so by washing that side, I kind of had to give it a little bit more dwell time than I normally would give for a southern side, southern facing area so I'm actually gonna have to go retouch it up because I didn't give it quite enough dwell time in the far corner behind the tree so devil's in the detail guys devil's in the details This north side is going to need a pretty serious dwell just because it has been uh, quite a few years since the last time it was washed. But you can already see uh, there's a significant change already just on the minute or so that it's been dwelling on the first part I just sprayed. And this stuff is just caked on here.
A little bit of wind today, I'd say maybe about a 5 to 10, nothing crazy. We'll see how the M5 does when getting up in the peaks on this one. Yeah, this is going to need a pretty serious dwell. All right, so this one is coming out absolutely perfectly. This is one application. We have not had to double up. It was super, super green. But just a little extra long dwell. I'd say I probably gave it about 15 minutes. Came clean with no problem. Alrighty, so this one is all done. Going on up here, all the way up to that peak. No problem for the M5s. Let me give that a nice little rinse there. Yeah, this side came out absolutely beautiful. And right in here. 100% better. This thing came out amazing. I love a good dirty house. I'm gonna rinse that one spot, pack it up, and head on to the next one. There it is, just hanging out. I'm gonna pick this up, throw it up on the truck, and head on to the next job. Alright, I must say this is quite literally the heaviest ladder I've ever encountered. <sighs> but she's on the truck. I'm gonna get it pushed up, strapped down, and ready to rock and roll. Alrighty, we are out here on house number two. Got the hose pulled all the way around. And I'm gonna be doing the two sides wash, two sides rinse. It was almost exactly two years ago, last time we were here. I think, uh, we're like four days shy of being the two year anniversary, so. I'll take you over here to the north side. Just a little bit of dust and dirt under the back porch there. So this is the north side, and when I came out the first time, this was completely green all from one side to the next. So this is just, this is two years of growth on a tan house and you can kind of see it starting but nothing bad I mean their HOA probably would let them go for another six months to a year without saying anything so that just shows the system works I do remember last time I was here I was running my mixed bucket it was a five gallon bucket and I had to stop in the middle and make a new batch uh, today I'm not worried about that. I've got 20 gallons of mix, and uh, I'm only going to use probably half of that today. All right, I'm going to get this thing fired up. All right, so we are, I've washed the first two sides. Now I'm coming back through, and I am just giving these a good rinse. Uh, just enough wind here to really atomize everything I've got going on, but this house is not very tall, so it is just straight to where I need to go. Alright, so the customer said they just had this cleaned by some high school kids here in the neighborhood, and then all of the pollen pods from the pine trees fell and stained it all up, so I'm going to give it a quick little bit of house wash. Just to add a little bit of value today to what I'm doing. I'm going to let this sit while I wash the rest of the house. And kind of just treat this like a post treat. And I just spray it and forget it. 
let's see how it comes out before I get out of here today. Alright, so this one is all cleaned up. I'm going to take you around to the back. Got to go close these gates, but on my way there, I'm going to go check out that concrete pad. This side came out just perfect. Alright, there you go. Like, nothing ever happened. Those stains came right up. That was just 1% house wash. All right, I'm all home and got the 32 on top. <laughs> I will say that the wind on the interstate all the way here has knocked loose so much of the dirt and leaves and just buildup of everything that was on this. Uh, and maybe it is gonna be a little bit lighter, I'm really hoping. Not exactly sure what material this is made out of, but it still has its original tags on there. So, Maybe I can find out. Maybe it's a fiberglass. But it, it sounds like metal. So. Yeah. There we go. It 
It says metal ladder. All right, so she's heavy though. I'm gonna take it down, get it fixed up. Try to change the rope because this one's been sitting outside for so long. And uh, get a uh, stabilizer on it and I can put this thing to use. Yeehaw. That's all I got for you today. Y'all be safe out there.